Chapter 1 Faces of Computer In this chapter, I'd like to discuss with you that the main aim of this lesson is to learn about the evolution of computers, its generations and advantages of computer as a system. Okay, friends, I think you have the knowledge of the earlier device for calculation was Abacus. The history of computers start about 5000 years ago with the birth of Abacus with 10 beads string into a wire's attached frame. This is the predecessor to computers. It helped people to keep track of numbers as they did computing. The abacus was initially used for arithmetic tasks. Napier John Napier was a Scottish scholar best known for his invention of logarithm. He invented Napier bones in 1614, also known as Napier's rod. It is a set of numbered rods which were used to multiply any number by a number from 2 to 9. Pascaline Next is the mechanical calculating device called Pascaline, discovered by Blaise Pascal, a French mathematician in 1642. It was the first digital computer used with gears and wheels for performing calculations. Differential Engine First mechanical computer is differential engine invented by Charles Babbage, an English mathematician in 1812. After that, he improved his machine to analytical engine. This is the first computer and that is why he was considered later as the father of computer. Tabulating Machine Hermann Hollerith developed a mechanical tabulating machine based on punch cards for input processing and data storage. It is the first storage device in the world. Also, it was Hermann Hollerith who introduced supercomputing. Mark 1 it was Howard Aiken and Grace Hopper of Harvard University who designed Mark I, the first programmable electromechanical calculator in 1944. ENIAC Electronic Numeric Integrator and Calculator The first general purpose electronic computer was designed by John Mackley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946. You will now get wonder to know that it covered 1,800 square feet of floor space, weighed 30 tons and consumed 160 kilowatt of electrical power. EDSAC Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Computer the first practical stored program electronic computer was developed by John von Neumann in 1949. It contained 3000 vacuum tubes and used mercury delay lines for memory. IBM PC In 1981, IBM International Business Machine made the first fully portable computer, Opson 1. It was the first personal computer whose size, capabilities and original sales price comfortable and made it more useful for individuals. Generation of Computers Friends, do you know how many generations are in computers? Generation in computer terminology is change in technology. There are totally five computer generations known till date. Each generation has been discussed in detail along with their time, period and characteristics. Here, the approximate dates given against each generation will normally accept it globally. Following are the main five generations of computers. We will discuss about that. First generation computers 1940 to 1956 were made up of vacuum tubes. It was very expensive, huge and complex also. Some of its disadvantages were slow in processing, less in storage capacity 
and computing capabilities were limited. It consumed more power and produced lot of heat. It used machine level language for programming and was not actually accurate and reliable. Some examples are ENIAC, UNIVAC, IBM 650, etc. Third generation computers 1964 to 1970. In this generation, systems were made of integrated circuits, ICS. A single IC has many transistors, resistors, and capacitors built on a single thin slice of silicon. Basic, the programming language was developed during this period. It was a high level language then. It had some features as reduced size and processing speed was high. It used semiconductor memory device and was more accurate and reliable. Mini computers were introduced in this generation. Friends, after next session, we are going in detail about mini computer. Fourth generation computers. 1971 present. It works based on microprocessors like VLSIC and LSIC which were used in this generation. VLSIC stands for Very Large Scale Integrated Circuit and LSIC stands for Large Scale Integrated Circuits. Fifth Generation Computers 1991 Present Artificial intelligence is the technique used in this generation which is able to think and take decisions like human beings. This is the shift in technology here. It uses ULSI, Ultra Large Scale Integration Chips. Friends, you might have heard that Japan created a robot that could interact with humans on certain emotional levels. Now. We will discuss about the classification of computer as categorized into four types according to their configuration and usage. What are they? They are microcomputers, mini computers, mainframe computers, and supercomputers. Microcomputers. You know, it's a single user computer like desktops and laptops. They are expensive and largely used by small companies, schools and individuals. Mini computers. It is moderate sized computer used when desktop computer is not so powerful to perform a job. It is attached to a number of terminals so that more than one user can use the program at a time and they can share data and programs. Mainframe computers. You know these computers are capable of handling and can process very large amount of data quickly. Mainframe computers are used in large institutions such as government, banks and large corporations often with many users connected over a wide area network. Supercomputers these computers are multiple processor systems built to minimize the distance between points for their very fast operation. It is focused towards performing tasks which involves intense numerical calculations such as weather forecasting, fluid dynamics, nuclear simulations, theoretical astrophysics and complex scientific computations. Friends, you know computer can be classified into three categories on their mode of operation. They are digital computers, analog computers and hybrid computers. Digital computers. It is an electronic computing machine that uses the binary digits, bits, 0 and 1 to represent all forms of information internally in digit form. It performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digits in the binary number system, example, personal computer. Analog computer In this type of computers, 
the numerical data are represented in measurable physical variables such as electrical voltage fluid pressure mechanical motion etc hybrid computers these computers are designed to handle both analog and digital computers advantages of computers friends look here the following list demonstrates the advantages of computer in the present day which are influenced by computers a lot speed computer is a very fast device it is capable of performing calculations of very large amount of data the computer has units of speed in microsecond nanosecond and even the picoseconds it can perform millions of calculations in a few seconds as compared to a man who will spend many months for doing the same task accuracy in addition of being very fast computers are very accurate the calculations are 100% error free computers perform all jobs with 100% accuracy provided that proper and error free input has been given to them versatility a computer is a very versatile machine a computer is very flexible in performing the jobs to be done this machine can be used to solve problems related to various fields at one instance it may be solving a complex scientific problem and the very next moment it may be playing a card game storage capacity memory is a very important characteristic of computers a computer has much more storage capacity than human beings it can store large amount of data it can store any type of data such as images videos text audio and many others reduces manpower it has reduced human effort in every field a computer can do a specific task which needs huge amount of human resource